Hello, Taurus. Welcome. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a tarot reading for who you may be dealing with and what they're up to. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel. and probably get three tarot pictures read for you as well. Thank you. Oh, wow. Wow. Um, a couple more, then I'll jump into this. I was wondering. I was wondering, is it too good to be true? Um, it's like a rom-com. Is it too good to be true? And then after the movie's over, it's kind of like everyone just kind of splits up and goes their own way. Um, kind of like the movie Titanic. Imagine if Leonardo and whoever her name was, they did the movie together. Everyone was in tears by the end of it. And then by the end of it, when the movie was done filming, they're kind of like, and I'm done. I can't stand working with them. Um, jumping into this Taurus, what they show me, and I don't exactly know what is going on with this because there is a, there is a situation here. Um, once again, they present your energy very clearly as well as their energy. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Um, but this is clearly someone that you are in a commitment relationship or marriage with. I don't know the, the dynamic of this. Um, they're showing me that right off the bat, there definitely is some sort of financial opportunity here that they are pretty adamant about putting their foot down. They're kind of like saying, no, it's gonna do, it's gonna be this way, it's gonna move forward like this, um, regarding everything going on. So what they're kind of saying is, I'll take the lead, I'll take I'll take the lead role in a sense. Go figure, we're talking about movies now. Um, I'll take the lead role and I'll kind of move forward with whatever this vision is that I do have. Even though they are constructing and putting things together for themselves, they're not too sure. It, it kind of it has this energy of, Let's do this. And then all of a sudden it's kind of like, okay, but first I need a nap. Um, their situation um, between the two of you, they are definitely taken back by it. It's almost the equivalent of they woke up from their nap, they're, you would think, ready to go. And then it's like, no, not quite yet. I still need to kind of like look over some things. And so even though they are getting clarity and perspective on the situation, okay, I'm ready to move forward now. Now wait. And now there's a consideration of what to actually do. And it's like, where are you going? Where are you going? From point A to X, to B to Z, to C to J. It's like, zigzagging here, zigzagging. And it's like, okay, we're not moving forward here. We're kind of, you know, two-stepping in place. Um, I don't know what this is about. They're showing me that their overall so-called plans for the future. I don't know how to say this, Taurus, other than to rip the bandaid off and say it. The commitment, the relationship, and the marriage between the two of you, they feel like they gain some sort of recognition, praise, applause, or let's just say get some sort of image out of this that causes them to feel very confident. And this is what I'm very fascinated myself about, is they show me this energy of they feel like them taking the lead role or in a sense the head position of the situation, um... That's what gives them literally control and confidence. At the same time, get this, 
this overall energy about the two of you, whether this is they want to be pedestaled by you. Maybe they're into that kind of praise thing. I don't know. Um, they feel like there's a possibility of love here about the situation. And it's like, I don't know if that's, you know, self-love for themselves or if this is new love between the two of you at this point. Because um, they show me so much focus about themselves to the point where the way that things are actually moving forward financially speaking is actually very upsetting. And I don't know what that's about. Let's continue. There's the angels. That one got you, didn't it, Cross Watcher? Yeah, it did. It did. It did. It did. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, there, there's the two of you. There's the two of you. Um, they've just, it, how do I say this? They've kind of just spilled their beans at the end of this, Taurus. They, they've kind of just spilled their beans. Um, let me take this a little bit further before I jump back in. <laughs> they're like, and look at it now, they're kind of like, no, game over. <laughs> Not so fast there. Not so fast. Okay, they, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play with them. I'm not gonna play with that energy. Um, they're kind of like they're they're yeah. You understand, Crosswatcher. You understand. Um, at that point, you know it's just enough. Enough. You know, drop it. Um, there's so much. There could be some sort of argument, conflict as to how things are moving forward financially speaking. Like I said, they saw this as one giant shiny financial opportunity at the start of this, right out the gate. And now, because of things moving forward, they're saying like maybe there's maybe there's hope. Maybe there's a chance at love here between me and Taurus um, again, or just to begin with. I don't know. But whatever's going on, um, unless this is them having emotions and feelings for someone else on the side, but. I don't necessarily see or feel that. Um, I don't, because they're showing, like I said, they spilled their beans right there. They're showing me that the longer they sit with this upset that they're in, they're, they're trying to create that inner peace with themselves. And I feel like they do a pretty good job at it because they do kind of, in a sense, kind of gain their emotional bearings once again. And they do kind of put this behind them to move forward. At the same time, um, with so much responsibility to kind of take care of and oversee as well as deal with, I feel like... Excuse me. Drink responsibly or don't drink at all. Regarding the emotional energy here of what they're spilling their beans about. This is what they're keeping secret and hidden from you. They're, they're, they're internalizing the awareness and the knowing of what they're doing, what they're going through, and what they're putting the two of you through. But at the same time, they're also kind of like saying, but wait, no, but wait, with time, you actually do make me happy, Taurus. And it's like, with time, with time, huh? That's like saying, I don't love you. No, don't worry, I'll grow on you. It's like, what? But you make me so happy. It's like, what? The late nights, the $1,000 dinners, the $1,000 cars, the house, everything, the materialistic possessions, everything, I make you happy, huh? That's great. That's great. Um... But whatever's going on, they're saying, like, it's done with, it's over with. But because this cycle has run its course, um, by the way, this information was destined or fated to come out, by the way. Because this cycle is closed and the door is slammed shut, they're just kind of, let's just say, psychologically going through it. Um, they're stressing, and that's to say it lightly. They are stressing. They are absolutely confused, and this is what you would call a typical thing of karma. When you use someone for the wrong reasons, when you get into a relationship for the wrong reasons, um, when you try to literally use someone as your wallet or your purse or your own personal piggy bank, 
whatever it is, when you have the ill intention, this is what happens. Of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with a water sign, a fire sign, an air sign, or an earth sign. They're all here. 